Okay, so let's look at the terrazzo effect. So I'm going to grab, um, let's say I'll just grab that. And then I'm going to go ma uh, object mask effects effects. So down here we have terrazzo. So now I'm not sure if you can see it. Let's look at what terrazzo lets you do. Okay, so there's my space here, and if you can see this, I'm picking, I have a choice of a whole bunch of different tilings. So, start with the first one, the gold brick. You can see it's got a knot here and a knot there, so I can stretch the corners. If you look over here, this is the kind of tiling that gold brick does. Um, and we can feather the boundaries. Oops. Feather the boundaries, as you can see over here. Okay. I'll zoom in and show you. That double line is my boundary feathering, and I can change it simply by manipulating this slider below that. And then, when I manipulate the slider, you'll see the feathering take effect. No feathering. Feathering is 17. Okay, so I can play with various things here. I can play with the mode. Dark and light and hue, saturation, color, luminosity, multiply, screen. So, if I wanted to play with hue, it's just playing with the hue up here. How about saturation? I can play with saturation. Well, let's see. Let's find something. Luminosity. Um, multiply. So, there's multiply. And uh, let's try darken. There's darken. There's lighten. There's saturation. Hue. You see the change in hue in there. Uh, screen. And normal. And I can change the opacity. Uh, I can pick whether I want a new image for my source or I want the original image. I can save the tile. There's an image all on its own. And there are all these different tilings. So let's pick another one. Crab claws. Okay, so. That's crab claws. I'll play with the size of the image here. Move the image around. I turn on continuous preview. And then we'll play wings. See if you can see the image yet. Okay, so this is wings. I'm going to stop the feathering here. And I'm playing with the size of the tile. Let's try hither and yon, which is kind of like wings except the tiles are flipped. You see? And then we can play with card tricks. Okay, so prickly pear, which is the first one in the next line here. Now, 
I probably didn't need a gear. I'd grab this section of the image here, which I've selected. And I think what's going to happen is when I save my tiling here, I'm going to pick a different one, Primrose Path. When I save my tiling, it's just going to do something with the part that I have selected. Let's try that. Yeah, it just filled in that. So I'm going to undo and I'm going to clear the selection, remove the mask, so the whole image is selected, and go back to my fancy terrazzo. And now when I take the result of this tiling here with nothing selected. Now I'm going to go click and it fills the whole image. Which is kind of nice. Ta-da! That is Terrazzo, which unfortunately is no longer available. You have to have old software for it.